Hello and welcome to another Gothic 2 movie by some guy with soul. This time we're going to try and find as many King Souls as possible. Now there are a lot of them in Gothic 2, uh, spread out throughout the country, and I'm going to try and uh, show you where they all are. Well, I say all. I don't know exactly where all of them are. I'm, I have a strange feeling that I'll have missed some. You can buy them in the shops in a later stage, but you want as many as you can get. So this guide should help you out a little bit. Unless you know them all, in case in that case you shouldn't be watching the movie in there. So uh, the first one I'm showing is when you have to talk to Zeris to unveil it, because it doesn't uh, appear until you do. You talk to him about where Constantino finds his herbs. He'll go on a little bit and uh, then he'll eventually say that King Sorrel's grow on Lobart's farm, the stone circle that's right up there. We're right next to it right now. King Sorrel's are normally spread out and you'll never find one next to the other, although some of them are in the area, same area. There's only one up here, but it's still worth talking to Zerus and going to get it, because you need all of them, they are high priority. There it is, right there. Okay, so uh, now we're going to be a bit more up to date. That was, I had to load a new game because I already went by that with my paladin. And now I'm in chapter 3. Though well, it doesn't matter what chapter you are when you're trying to find them in the wilderness. This is just outside the city gate. As uh, you can see just back there. It's just along here, right next to a tree stump. Really, really easy to find. This is one of the first ones you'll probably find ever. There's a healing route right next to it, but I only care about the King Sorrel. There it is. And moving on to the next one. Now, I'm using speed potions be just to speed this whole thing up. The next King Sorrel is uh, just before the lighthouse. There's a hill and um, with a, a very strange ledge that I try to get up. You can see me trying it now. And there we go. And the King Sorrel is right next to a small tree right up here. There it is. The next one's also in this area, so I just keep recording. It's not far. Um, King Sorrel, uh, really useful. I, you know, I'm only showing King Sorrel not where to find dragon roots or goblin berries because there's way too many goblin berries in the game for me to really go on about it. And dragon roots, um, well, King Sorrels saving me a lot of time because everyone needs King Sorrels for stack potions. That's one of the base ingredients. So I'm just trying to show you where they are. This hill that I'm on right now is uh, also useful for mages. It has some powerful anti-death spell scrolls and a ring that can increase your mana by 10. There's the King Sorrel right on the ledge. And, um, well, the next one's a little bit harder. Now, there's two right next to each other, right next to a stone circle with skeletons guard in it. Skeletons with two-handed swords. Very nasty. Here we are. And I will eventually find the King Sorrel. There it is. Right there. Okay. The other one is next to a tree on the other side. Now this is where you might get attacked by skeletons if they're still there. And if you can't handle it, then uh, take extra care around it. You can take it without. Now earlier, in Chapter 2, I started a quest um, called The Message, given by Vatrus. He, at the end of it, you can um, pick your reward. One of which is a King Sorrel, which I advise you take. Oh, I just slaughtered a black troll right there. Behind the Black Troll, if you know where it is, I hope you do, there is a King Sorrel, as well as a one-added weapon and um, some potions, stuff like that. Now, if you just cr cross the bridge facing away from the King of a Black Troll, I, I don't even know what I'm saying now these days, and go into the hidden uh, cave in this little valley, I've just ran to it from the Black Troll, it's not hard to find, you needed to come here for your Mage's Quest, because... Uh, that's where you, the rune stone was. And um, there's normally mine crawlers in here, but I've already killed them. And right next to where there's two mine crawler warriors at the back of the cave, there is a King Sorrel. 
out we go. Okay, now we're on the landowner's farm, and uh, this is Sekob's part right here. To the side of Sekob's house, there is a grave, and um, that's where you'll find another king soul. It's right next to the grave. Uh, it says something on it. So, the old underworld was his alone. I like how we put the little messages on the graves. King Sorrel, there it is. If you're unsure, then just check the graves. But there's not that many to check, and it's not hard to find. Okay, still near the landowner's farm. This is to the side of... Um, I should have probably put some more footage on how I got here. This is to the side of the landowner's farm. Looking straight up at the court, it's right and right again around the bandit cave. Now normally there's two trolls up here but I killed them in chapter one. It was a bit of an easy kill really. I like the experience. Okay, there it is. It's the only thing around here. Normally there's uh, a rapier and a bow and stuff next to it but I already took it. I just left for King Sorrel for video's sake. Okay, and now we're still at Onar's farm trying to do it area by area. You have to go around the nice shiny grave to the broken and spooky grave. Um, there's two switches on the side right next to these things. I see me pressing them right there. Two switches. All you got to do is walk up to them and press them. And then the grave spins open. A few of you will already know this. There's uh, a hard skeleton fight down there if you want to wake them all up. I don't at the moment. Got stuck on a little bug there. So I'm just taking the King Sorrel. And it's just to the side, right there. Okay, no problem. Now that's all I know for the new world. Back to the Valley of Mines. There's only one that I actually know about. Um, if anybody knows any more locations, then please tell me. I'd. Uh, I I have the feeling that I didn't get them all. Still, this is Diego. Diego's little cave system thingy right here. And all you got to do is climb up, as you saw me do a second ago, and uh, run along. There's your King Sorrel. If you don't know how to find Diego, then just check my vid.